Here I'm looking at great ways of making Gil solo in FF14 with only a battle class. I'll give a rough estimate of reward versus your time in terms of Gil per minute based on average prices across all of the EU. This is my third video in the series and I'll list all the methods covered so far in this video's description along with links. First up, activities you can pretty much jump straight into at level 90 without significant pre-work in ascending order. Deep Dungeons 2.9 to 4.2k per minute or top end 252k per hour. Deep Dungeons offer a unique experience, seeing you progress through randomly generated areas with an effective breakpoint every 10 floors. Currently, there are three in the game, Palace of the Dead, Heaven on High and the latest Eureka Orthus. In each, you get RNG rewards from various coloured sacks, earned by finding hidden treasure known as the Accursed Horde, and in my experience you can expect two sacks per set of 10 floors on average. Noting you need to finish the set of 10 floors to collect your loot. My recommendation from a solo guild making perspective would be the same for each of the deep dungeons. Farm the first set of 10 floors aka 1 to 10. These are straightforward to complete and for the first two deep dungeons take less than 15 minutes once you've experienced them a few times. The sacks themselves offer a huge range of loot which does mean RNG is massive here. Selling my hauls after 10 runs of each, both Palace and the Dead and Heaven and High were very similar in terms of results. I averaged 2.9k per minute in Palace of the Dead and 3.2k per minute in Heaven on High, with Chocobo Barding and a few glams like the Moonfire set being the monetary highlights. Both do offer jackpot items such as hairstyles fetching upwards of 500,000, but no luck for me this time. The latest deep dungeon, Eureka Orthos, undoubtedly offers more higher value items, with its hairstyle a close shave, bringing in just under 2 mil currently, the raindrop defence system fetching similar, alongside more recent boardings. The first 10 floors of Orthos do take longer to complete due to enemies having more HP, but despite this I still averaged a healthier 4.2k per minute without hitting any jackpot items, so it would be my recommendation out of the three. Variant Dungeons 6.8k per minute or 408,000 per hour. One of my current favourites as it involves no RNG at all. Running the Variant Dungeons, the Sildane Subterrain and the more recent Mount Rockin will regardless of route yield you three of the respective dungeons pot shed currency. This currency can be exchanged with Trissant in Old Charleian for a number of goodies including glams, hairstyles and emotes. At the time of writing the Rock on Emote and Orchestrion roll offer the best guild per token, but it is often very close between the items including the glams, so worth looking up current values on the market board or a website like Universe Sales before buying. Rock on provides slightly better value for your time at the moment, however if you're not in the latest gear the Sildane Subterrain might be the better choice in terms of speed as it sinks lower at item level 635. Quick tip, follow the path which the NPC picks at the start as this will grant you an extra chest along the way, and these have a low chance of a couple of items which can add a nice bit of gill. My rock on solo runs took 14 to 15 mins, which after selling wares netted a very very respectable 6.8k per minute. GC seal farm, 7.3k per minute or 430k per hour. Running the Burden of the Father Raid solo and unsynced takes about one minute and nets you materials that can be traded with the Sabina in Idleshire for item level 190 gear. This is then traded with your GC company for Grand Company seals which can then be traded with your Grand Company for items like Peacock or to sell on the market board. Spamming this has proved itself as a reliable long term way of making gil, 7.3k per minute covered in more detail in previous guild vid in the description. Solo farm treasure maps, 11.6k per minute or 700,000 per hour. Treasure maps have long been a great source of gil, and outside of the treasure map dungeons which are extremely difficult to solo given level sinking, there are some great solo gil opportunities, though RNG is king here so returns can vary. One map can be collected each day by a gatherer class, but without that, maps can also be brought from the market board, 
just search for Time Worn, noting that I would not recommend just doing one map as it is very easy to spend more on the map than you make in return from the loot due to RNG. Doing multiple maps will hopefully ensure you strike lucky at least once, netting great profits overall. Buy a map, use it, then find and dig on the X on the map. After extensive research on the volumes of items within the loot tables of all the maps, I did five each of the following maps. Time Worn Wyvern, Peter Skin, Boar Skin, and the original Leather Time Worn map. The 20 maps set me back just over 500,000 gil, but my total return after sales was 1.4 million, with highlights being Lotus Leaves from Leather Maps fetching 400,000 plus, and unhidden leather maps which can be found in all four of these iterations. Factoring in the time invested in buying and completing each of the map, I hit a fantastic 11.6k guild per minute, going at a pretty leisurely pace, or 700k per hour. Easy as these maps are, RNG does need to be heavily factored in. If you do have a gatherer level to at least 40, then I really recommend gathering and doing your daily leather map as part of your daily routine, as it's feasibly very good guild for 5 minutes effort. Lastly, I'll quickly cover off a few notable activities which can be done solo, however do require a level of pre-work to get involved with. All covered in much more detail in previous vids linked to in the description. 1. Farming old EX trials, solo and unsynced like Mog Extreme, 7k per minute. Pre-work is very minimal, you just need to get a crafter to level 30 to get you access to the decent assist skill, enabling you to break down items from certain EX trials, producing more valuable items. 2. Blue Mage Farm of the Vault, 5000 gil per minute, requires you to level Blue Mage and learn certain abilities. Great consistent gil return with zero RNG and no market board reselling. 3. Eureka Bunnies, 3.1k per minute. Essentially Eureka's in-house version of treasure maps. Headline gill return can be a little deceiving, as there are some very lucrative items to strive for, but generally the heavy RNG will be against you. Very fun content in general, which I'd recommend, though need to level within Eureka to 35 to get to the best treasure farming areas. In summary, if you're looking to avoid RNG, then Variant is a very strong option with old favourites like GC Seal Spam and Blue Mage Runs of the Vault still holding up very well. Blue Mage Runs being particularly well liked by many, as also doesn't involve selling on the market board. Unsurprisingly though, the biggest gill gains, and likely endorphin hits, are from those activities riddled with RNG. Here, solo treasure maps being my personal top pick, but Eureka and even Deep Dungeons are viable if, like me, you just enjoy variation and exploring different aspects of the game. If you've enjoyed this vid or found it useful, please don't underestimate how much power you have in clicking those like and subscribe buttons. It really does help a little channel like this one. All done. Like and subscribe to complete the duty.